Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, if you remember last video, we got a nice little rainstorm uh, yesterday and uh, I got a little something I want to explore. It turns out when the hardest part of the rain was uh, falling, that the rain gutter on the patio cover wasn't working very effectively. There was one point where the water was clearly overrunning the gutter. It may just be that I had more water coming through there than that thing could channel, but there could be a problem up there also. So today I want to take a look and see if I can figure out what happened. Now the first thing I may think of is that I might have like some sort of a plug in the downspout here and the water just wasn't flowing out of there as quickly as it could be. But it could also be that there's some sort of a plug up here also. Uh, and what was happening, I had these two buckets down here because I was catching water for this part of the yard which is underneath the patio cover and didn't get a whole lot of rain yesterday. And so I was capturing as much of the water that was pouring out of the rain gutter right here. but. Uh, the problem was main, mainly here, and since this appears to be kind of the low spot, it could just be simply a matter of too much water going through here. But, like I said, I want to get up there and see if I can figure out what exactly it is. Uh, and if there is some sort of a problem up there, what, what I can do to correct it. Now, I'm kind of up here looking, and right off the bat, I don't see anything that appears to be a problem. There's a little bit of a... Uh, of waste on the uh, leaf guard over there and there's a bit of waste on the leaf guard here but in reality this is where the problem is and uh, I'm not really sure what was going on here because this is right above where those buckets are and so the water was pouring over right here and it may be the fact that that the water was just coming off the roof to the point where it was coming down here so fast that it was just kind of shooting over this thing and going that way, it, you know, going over the edge. Uh, and if that's the case, maybe the solution is going to be to come up with something to slow down the water a little bit as it's flowing through here. I don't know. Like I said, if it's just too much water coming off of the house, because uh, let's basically let's face it, any water that comes on the uh, comes off the roof or lands on the patio cover is going to go right into here. And it may just be that when it rains really hard, it just there's too much of it coming through here. And maybe since this is a low spot here, this is where it's giving. Uh, that may mean that maybe what I got to do is uh, double up the downspouts. Maybe the solution, maybe that's what the solution is. Put another downspout like I have here going down over here and into this part of the yard. That would also uh, so serve double duty of getting some water into this part of the plant. But I want to get up here with a garden hose and see if I can maybe attempt to reproduce what's going on. Now before I run the hose through there, I obviously made the decision to kind of try and get the leaf waste off of there. I don't think that's a huge factor in this. The more I look at this, the more it seems clear that the the gutter kind of sags a little bit and what we may be dealing with here is just more water going through here when it rains really hard than the system is designed in, to handle and it's going down here as fast as it can and uh, since that kind of low spot there and, isn't, and it isn't enough volume going through here maybe what's going on is it's also just overflowing here so we may ultimately get back to uh, the idea of putting another downspout over there and going into the into the grass with that. So that may be what it comes down to, but we're going to still play around with it and see if we can figure it out. All right, so yeah, I think I've discovered what the problem is. This is just a low spot here. The water is flowing very well over here, but since uh, the, the thing seems to dip a little bit right here, as soon as it becomes filled up, it begins overflowing here because the water level isn't that far up anywhere else here. You know, it's a it's kind of high over here, but it's clearly uh, dipping down here. So even with just a small amount of water I got coming out of the garden hose, I clearly got an issue here. So yeah, I think that's the solution here. Is we just gotta get this thing to lift up a little higher. Because see, just by lifting it up by hand, it seems to be solving the problem somewhat. So. All right, well, we know what the problem is. Now we gotta figure out how to fix it. Now there is a, another secondary problem here. There's virtually no water flow going into, 
into this end of things. So while you know the water should be pouring out of here, but it isn't. It's just kind of trickling out at a very slow rate. So I've obviously got some sort of a plug down there too. And so we're gonna have to clean that out before we can get, that's gonna probably be a big part of it because if you got garbage down there plugging the downspout, then, uh, then it's, you know, it's not going to flow very well anywhere else. It's gonna back up and it's gonna find a low spot and that's where it's gonna go. So let's see if we can figure out what's causing the problem in here. All right, after doing a little inspection, I decided to take this little part of the downspout out. And as soon as I got that out of there, the water all poured out, which is what I would expect. And clearly we had some gunk uh, that had gotten plugged up inside the system. Now it's still possible there's gunk in here. The most likely spot would be here because it's probably not gonna uh, be able to accumulate much on the downspout. But um, I think the most of the biggest part of it was in this little angle piece here. Because the second I pulled that thing off, the water just poured out of there. And look at all the gunk that came out. So, yeah, we were plugged up in there. And that was the problem. Now, honestly, I'm a little disappointed. Because that's sort of the whole point of the leaf guards on top of the gutters there. Is in order just to keep leaf waste out of there. So, I'm a little bit puzzled how that even got in there. But now that we know what it is, we can clear it out. And uh, hopefully that'll uh, make things work better. We might not even need to uh, raise the... The raise the gutters anymore that's going to be a bit of a challenge i did put like a a little post in there to lift it up but that didn't really do a whole lot and the water was still kind of accumulating in there so uh, i think i'll just flush out that downspout and let's see what we can do to improve this situation so at this point i got the garden hose just into the rest of the downspout and there doesn't seem to be any kind of a problem here so this isn't the problem it was clearly this little uh, angle piece that was plugged up uh, and we've got that all cleaned up now, so we'll just put it back together and we should be good to go. All right, so I got this thing all hooked back up again. I've got the water running on the uh, patio cover. And uh, I do see a little bit of leaking there, but I, that's always sort of been the thing because um, there, was so, there was so little gap between the end of the roof and where the uh, rain gutters were that sometimes a little bit of the water is actually going between the rain gutter and the framing that it's attached to. But at this point, it all seems to be flowing through here really well. It's uh, flowing into the downspout really quickly and coming out. So I think in the long run, I have resolved this issue. Um, this may not be a perfect solution because I may just have to come to terms with the fact that I live in a place now that's capable of producing more rain maybe than that my rain gutters can deal with. But at least this will help a little bit and uh, like I said, it just gives me something else I gotta kinda keep an eye on now because the water should not have been pooling up here like this. And that was clearly what the problem was is that we just uh, had too much, uh, too much water going in not enough water going out. So now that we've cleared that problem out and everything seems to be working good, I think we're gonna end this video for today. So I think that's all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.